All right, welcome everyone. It's um, February 26th. We'll open up our meeting of the Millville Planning Board with roll call. Jason Maley. Um, we'll go here. Preston Jaskovich. Pam Williams. Justin Allen. Roland Jalas. And Pam Maloney, who we have um, Lindholm home with us as well. Um, let's get started then. I don't have minutes for us, so we'll just table that for next time. Um, we do have an appointment this evening with um, some folks from 18 Prospect Street. So if you want to come on up. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. I know you have some members joining via yeah. Zoom, so maybe we could just take a second to tell everyone who you are. Uh, my name is Sean Scunjo. I I own 18 Prospect Street in Millville. Uh, it's originally a industrial building built in the 80s that was defunct for uh, a span of time. Thank you. And then uh, it was used by a well company. Uh, for a while as a um, their maintenance shop. Uh, then a fire occurred in the building. After the fire occurred, it sat kind of defunct for a while. Uh, me and my partner, Rocco Deo, which will probably be joining us soon, um, purchased the property. When we purchased the property, we came to the board and we filed for a special permit. And uh, for, at the time, the board we didn't, they, in Millville, we didn't have any really allocated commercial use at the time. And we worked with the board to kind of come up and the neighbors of the, of that community in that area to work with a special permit to use the, the building. We revamped the building. We got us, uh, permit by the building inspector at the time Lincoln that was fully signed off <clears throat> we occupied the building as Raz Hope me and my partner's company after that we were approached by a marijuana company that was already in a host agreement with the town and they came to us looking hello hello Rocco. Can you hear you, Rocco? hi hi can you hear us I'm sorry to interrupt it, but uh, okay. we, um, yeah, we used the building and then they uh, and they started to use it. All right, so we were using the so we were using the building, and then the marijuana approached company approached us. At that time, before we signed the lease, we came back to the special permitting and wanted to make sure that it could be done. They, you guys, granted us a minor modification to that. Uh, initial special permit we start they started the process on their end to try to get the building up and running the landscape had changed with the marijuana field as i don't know if you guys all know but in the past year and their funding had not come through we had to go through a lengthy eviction where at that time when we finally took possession of the property our electrical and uh, electrical and the finished plumbing was not in the building. We then applied for a permit. There was some discrepancy with the building department about the use of the building. And they tried to, they are trying to essentially say that our special permit is no longer valid. And I approached the board to ask if it's not valid, for what reason? Um, just to introduce myself, I'm Eli Leno. I'm an attorney um, from Bernstein Sure working hired by RAS Hope LLC about this. Um, I think there are a few pieces of this that come down to uh, Supreme Judicial Court cases and Massachusetts law generally. So if I can help answer some of those questions as we move forward into the facts, I'm certainly happy to answer questions. Okay. So I guess if we could get this going. Yeah. Is the special permit still valid? Or is, I think there, that's the question on the table, right? As far as we know, but we're getting conflicting evidence from the town. Yeah. Was there ever a request for an extension 
the, it, it, we, we, in our eyes, the permit was fully enforced because if you look through your packet there, there's a signed off um, building card in there that under the motors of Mirandi of Millville at the time, we did not get occupancy permits. We got signed off building cards because it wasn't a new structure. It was a renovation of an existing structure. And, I, and after <coughs> that, we occupied the building, which I would deem that to fulfill the onus of my permit. And I'd add, I think that's a perfect piece to get into the law a little bit. Um, between your zoning bylaws, which I think is um, chapter 100, section 606, and then 40A, section 9 of the state law. And then, so from this Bernstein versus Chief Building Inspector case from 2001, um, the general idea is, on the merits, we review whether a special permit as modified has lapsed. Ordinarily, a permit may not be where, <coughs> excuse me, warehoused indefinitely. And that's what the, the law on its face says as well. So that if they had received their permit, either for special permit for use or special permit for construction, um, you can't just sit on it and then say, we can come back to this whenever. We can do this when we're ready. It's usually the two year lapse, but the board can condition it however they want. But they pretty quickly after receiving that original broad special permit, finished the work, started you know fixing the fire damage, and then shortly thereafter occupied it, um, rented to their to themselves as part of a uh, construction warehouse. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah, the we, use? We were we're a, we're, a, we're, a, we're a commercial development company. We, we we took a chance on Millville. My partner's not from here. I'm from here originally and develop in Hope Street. That was gonna be our home basis. And uh, we occupied it while we were hoping to up rent some of the other bays. And that's, um, then the wrench in the gears was the marijuana company came in and they, again, they had a contract with the town. So we thought, okay, maybe this is where we go. But at, the, but at that time we had already occupied the building and again, had a signed off building permit. So and we kind of complied with. To speak to that briefly about, again, there's the time limits for getting started, which I think you can look in your permit file and see pretty clearly that RAS Hope LLC took advantage of what was granted to them and started work, did these things. Then there's a bit of a delay where they're deciding how to use the building or gonna rent to this marijuana company, which doesn't end up happening. The new uh, addition to the permit to allow marijuana was an amendment to the existing vested permit. So it doesn't wipe that out. It's not a new permit. It doesn't stop or rescind that permit. So that's still in play. So then you have the question, which certainly would be fair to wonder, how long can you kind of wait here while they're dealing with permitting the marijuana thing, which doesn't end up going? And if the marijuana company took off and went gangbusters and have been there for 20 years, then they want to come back for this. I think you have a good opportunity to say, hey, that's that's probably lapsed. Why don't you come back? We'll take a look at site plan and a special permit for it. But the law has a bunch of cases where if you don't miss that initial lapse period, you have the use and then you take a break. The case that um, I think most captures this and is illustrative of how long you can kind of take here is that Lobester building and versus town of Bellingham, so just down the road, has this case where they spent 18 years on a special permit between building the first four buildings and then building the fifth building. The Supreme Judicial Court says 18 years was fine because they vested it from the beginning piece. They have those rights. The town had granted it and nothing in that permit said it lapsed or expired if they didn't do certain things on the phasing. So under the law, I think they're in a good spot to go back with the use that the town already said they could use that they started using a few years ago. And again, 2000 was the first permit you start building. Uh, it was 2020. So, 2019. 2020, excuse me, I'm losing. Uh, actually, it was in 2019. That's a, that, that's a uh, error on the... Oh. So if you, if you go to the back of that packet... And that's what I meant. Two thousand. It's me misspeaking. Where that's Diane, Lo where right Diane Lockwood released the yep. appeal, which would be two twenty five, twenty twenty, and then the date on our permit as finalized would be two twenty two twenty one. So February twenty twenty. Yep, from February twenty twenty to twenty. That that was a clerical hour that, on the town spot. But that was for the. Original special the permit. The original one? Yep. So the point is, and again, 
it's been only a few years here from 2020 or 2021 until where we are today. Four years. It wasn't, yeah, but they used it for a while and then they were, they came back, they did things right. They worked to permit the marijuana use as an addition to that special permit, and not a replacement for it. So we're still here under the contention that we're still permitted special permits for uses that are harmonious with the neighborhood. This is a building that's been here for a long time. This is a use that's harmonious. It's it's not going to change. Again, I think this is something that a special permit, certainly I don't speak for the board, but I think would validly be issued again, having been issued previously. But there's no reason to make my client go through that hoop on this because it's still valid. Do our permits expire though? Do our special permits expire though? Because you can't have something in perpetuity. So there need. So where is it? Two it's years. two years. Usually right? two years. Yeah. So why don't you just apply again? Because it's not expired. An expired permit would consist of not use, no use of non use, non use, non use. Non -use. Non -use. It's, I have two. Is, is I that have the two definition of it? I have two years okay. to comply with the permit. Okay. So, so as of that, the permit didn't doesn't expire in two years. If there's non-substantial use, which is in there, it says non-substantial use, okay. which there was substantial use dated by the the building permit as well as our occupancy there. That that that's that essentially is the definition. And I would say there's a difference between lapse and expire. They lapse if you don't take advantage of the rights that were granted to you by the board. Once you have it and you're using this building, which they did, it doesn't then expire. Okay. So when you're talking about occupancy permit, and the, I'm asking education. Absolutely. Is, if the building was inspected today, would it pass for an occupancy? We, we actually went for a building permit. And the problem that has arise was that Joe essentially said that we didn't have the right to use that building in that space for those for, for those purposes which was news to us because we went through this process we have a, a assigned lease with a current renter which is a excavation company that's a relatively large excavation company that wants to use it as their service facility same use that they were using it for it's, prior to trying to permit this for the marijuana I own an excavation it's literally the same same use and at that time, Joe had posed a question that's the, with the IEBC, which is a building department code, which is a separate entity, separate situation. And I had called the state on that situation. And there was no clarity because we did not get past this point. So that she told me that there was discussion about whether I was even able to be permitted to use it there, which I thought I was. Then when I reached out to Dylan, I believe, I reached out to Dylan and asked him, and I didn't get substantial clarity. That, and there was no fault on Dylan's part. It was just there was not substantial clarity for me, which I needed to move forward. That's when I asked for a meeting with the board. Yeah, and we're here. Uh, it's not an adversarial straight. situation. We're here because we thought we were making an investment in the town. We thought we went through the proper channels. We thought we were extending the same use and um, business as we were approved to be there. And then the question of the validity came up and it, that's when. We so, yeah, I, I remember the project yeah. and I think the building looks great. I, you know, I, I think it was a great property. It was one of probably my first special permits being on the board. Um, learned all about, you know, getting the special permits for the different kinds of things that you can sort of like offer to potential sort of like. Uh, set limitations on and, all of those. And things like that. Um, Joe, do you want yeah. to speak to this? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I went through the records that the town has, and I kind of did a timeline. So in 2019, property was purchased by the clients, right? So 2019 uh, was December 4th, they pulled the permit to repair the roof, the garage doors, and left. Uh, that was, yeah, December 4th, 2019. The permit was finally signed off on February 22nd, 21. The permit is approved to 2022. You'll look at the bottom where the, where the final inspection is in the blocks. Yes, but that's when the permit was pulled. Yeah, to, that's what I got, right to 2020, you said 2019. To when? 2022, 21? 
2020. Full permit approved at the top of the permit. This is the building card. Yeah. Yep, okay, we have right. that. Yeah. Date issued. Yes, but fully approved on. Full final. We're here. Yep. That's the dates I just gave you. 2 21 Okay. So, February 3rd of 2020, the planning board approved the special permit for a variety of things. In that decision, if you read it, it kind of uh, leads you to believe there's a dumpster company going in there. Because it talks a lot about dumpsters being left on trucks, so forth and so on. The uses that was listed out are the uh, uses allowed in that zoning district. February 10th, uh, we did the uh, site plan review, which was also granted. Then on December 28, 2020, a modification came in to use it for marijuana. Uh, that was approved. And the question I have right now, just sitting here listening. So you said they bought the building. They occupied the building. Then they went and got a marijuana company interest. But if the permit for the roof and everything was signed off on 21, and they had come in for modification in 20, when did they occupy it? That's my question. We'll go on with them, though. Uh, on January 24th, did a site, site visit, and I walked in, the electrical and all the wall panels inside were, they were taken down. What year was that, sir? 24. Okay. And on uh, January 31st, 24, they submitted a uh, permit to finish the bathrooms. That was granted. In that the permit, the use group was listed as an S2, which is storage. On February 5th, I received a letter that they wanted to change they wanted to cancel that permit and change the use. Uh, I'm sorry, February 5th, they sent them a letter informing them that the owner, a change of use was needed and that interceptors and so forth holding, if you're gonna have overhead doors, according to 248 CMR plumbing code, you have to have oil and gas separators. On a new structure. On. Or a structure that's changing use. Let me finish, okay. February 9th, a letter was received requesting that that permit that they have for bathroom be voided out, a new one open, now under an S1 group, which is, has to be done with a change of order through the building department. That's a change of use. So if you look at the timelines on the first order of condition that was granted, on line 11, it says it has to be done within one year. They missed the date. On the second one, item eight says one year. They missed the date. Under 40A, it's a two year on a special permit. That wasn't that either. So. I'm not sure where we missed the date because a, a permit doesn't become active until after the 20 day appeal. And if you look at the 20 day appeal, it's signed 225 2020 by Diane. After that, I got a permit approved as a final of 222 2021. That leaves me within one year of the thing to the final permit, at, at, at which I also might mention we were in mid COVID and we still got it done. And 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 also, um, just another thing that that is a little inaccurate how it went. We you told us that you would not issue the permit in S one, you would issue it in S two. No, it's on your application S two. I understand that, but you said if we permitted in S one you would try to make us do changes to the building. My partner filed for the permit in S2. At that time, you called me in here and said, I want to know who, you, you, when we went there, you said, I want to know who's using the building and for what uses. And I asked why, and you said, because they're going to need oil water separators in here. And I said, Joe, this is a pre-existing non-conforming use. And you permitted use. Pre permitted use. And you said, no, it's not. At that time, I called Adele, the state building yeah. inspector, and I asked her about that, and she essentially said that there was nothing in writing. At that time, you 
gave me something in writing. I did not have occupancy to the building. I realized the clerical error that we made in the permitting, and I asked to rescind that permit and file for the permits in the correct application. That's, that's exactly how that went down. Marijuana isn't even allowed in an S1 group. It's an F1 group. Okay. So, I mean, this thing's been all over the map, and it's... What I had talked to you guys, you told me that you had the right to do whatever one that was on your list that you put in there, and including the building code. The building code the town has no say over. That's a state. I'm not. Right. I'm not saying they do. We're here to discuss whether my special permit is valid, okay. and it, uh, which I was permitted to use the building. I understand you are not happy with how it is, and I, I don't want that to be a confrontational thing. I want. I operate a business, another business in town that I've had no complaint in the 20 years I've been there. I, I, I wish to operate another business in town, a, a, a commercial facility, which I wish to have zero complaints for the duration of the time it is there. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure, again, how we got here, but I, I'm just asking the board as to whether my special permits are, are Right, and all I'm doing is presenting what I have as far as the board goes. Okay, okay? And so what I see is the areas I was missed. So, and this again, like I explained to you, it's the use of groups within a zoning district, which we have the use groups in that original. Okay. Can I finish? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the use of groups are there so you can put stipulations depending what the business is. You can't just say, okay, no matter what it is, in this whole area, everything's the same, because it's a different type of businesses. And that's what the intent is. It's just like the use of group within the building code is for fire-related industry. So if you have something that's more flammable or whatever, that's why they have the different use groups. Same thing with the planning board. What you use as, a, as an excavating company is not the same as what the marijuana would have. And that's the whole point of the whole thing. Yes. I agree entirely with his assertion that the change in use and the different use groups have different concerns and you from a permitting board need to grant things under the certain regulations such that, you know, harmonious, not more detrimental, etc. But where we lose sight here is that permitted properly starts the permit, doesn't lapse. It's within the two years. I don't. I think that's inarguable at this point from the, the record as presented by everyone. And then there's a break where they look to permit something else. Had that gone forward, had the marijuana been successful, there would have been a change of use, at which point various things may or may not have been triggered about what you need for building code, plumbing code, other local regulations from your bylaw that I'm, I'm not sure of because that's not the fact pattern we have here. So because that didn't happen, we have the false start with the marijuana permitting. They're just trying to go back to the use that was properly permitted, commenced, and is still adequately permitted. So there's not a change of use there. And again, had they done the marijuana, had they done something completely different, all those other codes would likely be triggered. But we're really just back to where we started and hoping that the board, upon reviewing these facts, et cetera, can make a finding that yes, you have a permit properly properly granted, recorded. Here's what happened. You understand the TikTok timing of how this has all happened over the last few years. Yeah, this dalliance with the marijuana company doesn't go anywhere and you are right back. And that's sort of the finding he needs. So again, another person working in Millville can get back to work and we all know where we are and that we're properly permitted. Is the, um, is the interceptors separators and holding tank um i guess for for gas and oil um part of the allowed uses of the original special permit no it was not in this it created a pre-existing non-conforming okay a lot of buildings my personal building down here does not have that it's been a garage for a hundred plus years so when so in order during those uses it creates a pre-existing non-conforming condition. So to, to tear up all the floors in that garage, put in oil water separators, you're talking like $70,000. We have an epoxied floor at Hope Street, at Prospect Street, I'm sorry. We have an epoxied floor. In our lease agreement, it explains that any spill is to be contained immediately. We don't want a contaminated property. But 
the fact is that it, we also have to be somewhat cost acknowledgeable. We, we lost a substantial amount of money just trying to, as, as far as the town as well, trying to be in business with this marijuana company. We're, going, we're trying to go back to our original approved use, and the oil water separator is a source of contention, but that's not, that's a, a source of contention with the building inspector and the state, which we've, I've had co communications with. It's not, this is not, I'm not, not trying to skirt something or co not communicate with something. I, I'm just trying to be able to use a building or, and or confirm that my existing permitting is still valid. And we're just trying to essentially use the building for what its intended purpose was. I'm not, you know, we, we made the investment in the town and then we, we're not trying to, we made the investment in the town because we believed in the space and now the thing that we feared about making the investment in the town is coming to fruition. So we're just trying to move forward with the project. Joe, I think you had something else to say. Yeah, on marijuana. The plans that were submitted for that, and I stated it in that sheet, uh, that states on it that it's an F1 use. That's from the engineer, whoever did the engineering. So None of them but got But we didn't occupancy. use that use is the point here. What was that? We, we didn't go forward with that use. Again, I'm not disputing that marijuana is a different use code under the building but code. If you, if you submitted plans that said F1, you came in for the modification, you got the host, hoist agreement, you, and then... We didn't get the host agreement. That was already in place before we even got into yeah. business with these people. That was a potential tenant. We, yeah. we, we came, they were, they had come to the town prior to us and had with been- With a different in, location. With a different location. And then they, that location, they came to us. We then approached back to the town and said, hey, is this something you guys want? Everyone agreed that it was something they wanted. We moved forward to the detriment of us. We lost money there. It wasn't in the town, it, we lost out. It wasn't, and we didn't, and if you look at the law under the IEBC, which you're referring to, it's occupancy. If, if it has occupancy, even Adele, the state building inspector, reaffirmed that occupancy is the key word. If we have occupancy in the building, which we did after we got our initial special permit, then if it changes occupancy, if you pull a permit for something and it's not occupied, if you pull the permit for this to be a salon, and they shut the door, and then there was no salon in here, and they opened up the door. This, this, this never was occupied as a salon. That, that there was never occupied as a garage because you, your building permit says you finish in 21, and you have the marijuana people in in 20. So, I mean, I don't know how you can have a, my, a garage here. My building permit was... For the garage and the doors. I just showed it. It signed off on 20, 21. 21, yeah. And our, our amendment to our special permit was... In 20. In 20? Yeah. 21. The amendment 21. was in 21. I do also yeah. just want to mention that the building code and the use stuff is is secondary is to it? the special permit being active. And certainly that's not something that this board, it, it's not in your purview. It's important, certainly, and we're not saying that you're making a decision on this one way or the other, but I don't want to get lost on the piece that... Can yeah. I get a, can I ask a question just so it gets answered? Why do we why do we want that oil separator in the storage tank? Why why is why is Joe requesting that? Okay, now oil what is okay, what an oil separator does is if there's a spill in a new building, usually in a new building the, the floor is pitched towards the doors. This is not that case. The floors are not pitched towards the and then usually it's connected to a, a city sewer, so there's a tank that it goes into. There's drains across the front of the door, then there's a tank that it goes into, and it separates the sand from the, if there was washing involved and or oil, Wait. large oil spillage. Why is he trying to prevent an oil spill? Why do you think in that area? I understand it totally why. I don't want an oil Is there any reason that anyone would think that I would want to contaminate? Nope. That's exa not. exactly. I'm not, I, I don't think that the, the, the legitimacy of oil contain containment is is invalid. I'm saying that that this particular property is not con one. It, again, it's in my lease. I, I'll put oil containment uh, kits next to the doors. I'm not. There's no power washing permitted there under my lease. There's it's it's a maintenance. So if there would be have to be a spill, it would have to be hundreds of gallons to make it out the door. You know, if anything, it's contaminating my property. 
I'm not. I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to contaminate my own property. I would right. just point out that with things like the building code and these provisions, as well as zoning and many of the other codes that affect land use in general, they're prospective for a reason as opposed to retrospective. We, we all know things, the fire code, for example, sprinklers, whatever the case may be, good thing to have in a building, inarguable, but we don't make them go backwards to existing uses in older buildings unless you do certain things that trigger you in them because in part, we understand that it's a huge cost. You didn't design around these things. This floor is flat. If there's a spill, it's in place. They'll pick it up. They'll have the kits around it. Whereas a modern building is built in a different way. And there's a reason we can make this. And I'm not even saying that the new code and the new building idea isn't better, but it's not what we have here. So it's it's just a huge financial hardship if we have to if we basically behave retrospectively on something that is supposed to be prospective. And there were provisions in that on the original use certificate of use in the original thing we know that wasn't brought up because it was used as that building before we were just we were literally taking a building that was used for it's like my building my building was a car dealership down the center of town here it was a car dealership before that before that was a bus depot i'm just trying to use it for the same use it was always intendedly used for i'm not trying to change it this is just a conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm not i'm not when you guys did that amount of work to that building wouldn't it have been required to bring it all up to code and that that may have been a foresight on the previous building inspectors thing, and I don't know. There wasn't a. It wasn't like we built a building. Yeah. We didn't build a building. We took a building that was. I I I wish I brought the pictures of it. It was. If anyone knows the building from before, it was. We, we removed seven dumpsters just from the parking lot. Seven dumpsters just from the parking lot, and that's not even the interior, demo. That was just. And, and all we did was skin the building. New roof it. We made an investment onto solar on the top of it. You know, we, we again, we just essentially rehabbed the existing building. We didn't try to change the footprint. We didn't try to add nothing. And we, I'm not as sure far as that code provision came into play. Either. Gotcha. And as far as the original site plan that was approved for that permit, all of that work was completed. All of that work was completed. Dylan, do you have any insight you want to share? Yeah, my question is, um, in this uh, minor modification narrative um, that was written by you guys, I think, it says, um, able to lease the building in summer of 2020, lease up the building in summer of 2020, we were seeking to permit the, permit the building for contractor landscaping storage and supply, auto truck repair and storage. So, that was who- the original permit. So who was leasing the property in the summer of 2020? Or is we that occupied it. You occupied your business. Our businesses. Okay. So you had your trucks in there. We had our trucks in there. That was my question. Well, we're obviously not making a decision on this tonight, no. right? So should we get our council involved? We can do that. And that way. We can ask them. Yeah. I remember at this go ahead Rocco at this point yes uh, at this point we're just looking for clarification um, we want to get this done fairly quickly if we could and move on and keep it in harmony with what we've been doing you know and hopefully the town the planning board would see that uh, that's what we're trying to do here so if I understand this right, our, the planning board scope of this question is not anything to do with any of the... Do we think that the special permit is, is still, still valid? Is still invalid. So I think that's a simple question to get our council involved with. Or, or is it our decision? Like, it's your decision. It's our decision. It's your decision. We're not trying it's to be decision. adversarial. If it's going to be adversarial... There's, no, yeah. there's really no decision. No, 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 no. Yeah, not to like... Because once it's... Uh, I don't want it... I just, I'm trying this is not just to, a very new board, so they want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, that no, 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 no. And you I'm know, not, looking at the, the I town, agree. talking I agree. to the towns. Yeah, you know, and, council, and we didn't do none of this without. Not to look at court. We're just looking for. Yeah, yeah. You know, and none of this experience. was done without all the neighbors. The neighbors all. Yeah. You know, this is not. This is not like something that was. We tried to slip in there. All the neighbors were notified. The neighbors were excited about the the the, the, the area being not a spot for kids to be able to come in and, you know, this I, I'm not again we're not um yeah the, the permitting files 
relatively voluminous for a short, it's a five year span here from what we're looking at. There's a fair amount of documentation about what happened and where we are. And certainly if it, if you need to talk to town council about this before you can make a finding, I guess I'm predisposed to understand that. But I do also think that with the dates and, and what's in your file, you probably have enough information on that limited piece to make the finding that the use was properly started and, and can continue. And again, I will reiterate that doesn't, you're not finding or ruling on any of the stuff that we will continue talking about the building code. We understand. Um, being on the board when this came to us the first time, I remember having a lot of discussions with you about like, how do we make it so that this doesn't have to happen again? That's that's because <laughs> we were trying to. There was no commercial space in town, and you we were looking were trying, to find somebody who could take the space. And, and and we were trying to create a commercial, a usable commercial space out of something that was that's, historically. That's, that's why we wanted. That's why we wanted several uses. Yep. Um, so that we didn't have to come back to the planning board, board every, time. every time we changed tenants. Yes, I, I can understand that, but I can also understand from a, a safety standpoint why building inspector is concerned, which is a separate, which is a separate, yeah, separate issue to. entirely. Absolutely. What other questions does the board have? It's not necessarily because the concerns I have is that Millville does not have municipal water. <clears throat> you have all wells in the area, so a spill could cause great harm to that area, okay? And that's where the planning board comes in and sets stipulations. If you're gonna run this type of business, then you have to put these safety, safety devices in place, okay? And that's the whole idea of it. And that's my concern is that if these wells get contaminated, I don't know, no error there is, a truck pulls in and it breaks a line overnight and it leaks fluid everywhere. What do you tell the neighbors? But if it does that in the parking lot, it's the same thing. Well, that's, that's another issue then. Well, let me, let me explain something. When we built this building, there were 55 gallons of homes of oil inside. It was all on the floor, and we cleaned everything up. And there was nothing that was spilled outside this 20, 000, at all. There's $27,000 worth of epoxy on the floor to make sure that the floor never gets stained again and or is impervious. Like I said, that, that, as far as your water separator, that comes under two, 248 CMR, which is the plumbing code, which dictates that. If they don't want to put it in, they can always go and, and file an appeal with the plumbing board and see if they say you don't have to do it. But it, that was my concern is that if you have overhead doors, you have four overhead doors, it says in there, you're gonna have it. You went from a S2 group, which was storage, according to what the, the description of the property was. You never got occupancy under that use group. I'm saying before you got it, there was an S2, okay? It was also pulled up, I think, in some of the tax records as a 400 code. 400, manufacturing. Right? Manufacturing, okay? okay? So that's what's there. It's been that never changed. Now you're changing it. With respect, I gotta, I gotta leave because I have another appointment I have to be at at seven. So, mm. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. What was that document? Yeah. Yep. This is just um, the uh, Department of Revenue code, and then these are the assessor cards. Copy if you want. That'd be awesome. If you want to just email me at that, it doesn't have to be right now. I can only make a copy. I can't even scan. That's perfect. So okay. <laughs> We're old school. That's what I get for trying to be uh, agreeable. <laughs> what other questions do the board have? I just like to reiterate that we're not trying to skirt the building code. We're not trying to. We're trying to. We we had a use for a building. And we, we have talked to the state building inspector. I initiated the contact with the state building inspector. Joe did not initiate that contact. I did. I want to make sure that we're doing the right thing there. I also am a businessman. I do not want to have an exorbitant cost in a very hard to rent environment. 
This, it's not. It, no, no one's like I can't. I, I, I'm a. I was born here. I was born in Millville. No one's like I can't wait Thank to move my much. business to Millville. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I stuck. The, Wish they were. If anyone's <laughs> watching. Well, I, I. And that's. Well, some people are trying to literally right now, <clears throat> and where and this is the reception that we're getting. This is part of why. I took a chance on the property, thinking that I could maybe do that, fight that fight. But now we're in here again. I feel like fighting a fight to use a property in which we all agreed upon at one time was a proper use for the property, including the neighbors. The neighbors were not excluded on, on, on the conversation. This was not a one-sided conversation. What other questions do we have? Comments? Is, is, uh, I have a question. Is the board prepared to tell us tonight if uh, our active permit is still active? Weren't we very clear on that we yes, wouldn't make this? A, just a discussion. We're not going to vote today on anything, but right. if you yeah. want to just go of what you I'm sorry I'm sorry can you repeat that I yeah you. Um, no yeah we're not going to vote today on anything we said yeah this is just a discussion um okay I was asking the board okay well yeah we don't have a vote we're, we're not taking a vote specifically tonight. so if there's a no vote does that mean that our, our special permit is still in existence I think we're because we're kind of like in a limbo area where if you're not telling us it's not in existence Technically, it is. Well, when is the next the meeting? Is, we have, we have, like, we yeah. have a, a How many, two weeks? ready to move in, and we're putting them off. We're going to lose that piece if this doesn't work out. Yeah, yeah, if, if. Rocco, their next next meeting's in two weeks. Do you think the board would be ready to maybe make a finding at Which the next? Which will make us lose the tenant. Uh, that's not. I know. I know. Not I, I, fresh I, at all. It's just that that's. No, I, I I understand that. It just adds to the financial part of the whole situation. That. I'm not prepared to vote on this right today. No. So well, we're not we're not going to vote on this today. I thought we were very clear about that in the first place. So we just kind of wanted to hear what it was that that you had, so that we could kind of talk amongst ourselves and and figure out if we wanted to get anybody else involved. I think the information you provided was very helpful in yeah. us forming Good. a decision, but I don't think that's today. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable doing it. Um, Only one voice, so. But we can, well, I think we had kind of talked about this beforehand when we invited you guys in, that this was just a discussion. Um, I don't think it's on our agenda to have a vote, correct? Yeah, even if we wanted to. We're in a position where we're about to lose this lease. Is there any way to have a special meeting on this sooner than two weeks? I guess that's up to the board. If you think that we could meet earlier than two weeks, but I know that's not always possible. Plus, if, if we needed to, any other resources, we would need some time. And how long does it take for us to put this agenda on the website or post the agenda? We can post the agenda in two days. Okay. So does anybody else want to meet next Monday? And we'll just... Would we hear back from council on this by next that Monday? My, that would be my hope. I'm going to reach out to them tonight. How does that sound to you guys, if we could... Certainly yeah. appreciate you being Monday. flexible. Yeah, that, that, that would be that help. Definitely appreciate it. So, just as a note, seeking counsel, it seems to be as a, a, it's more of a looking for a way to invalidate the permit. Is that is that what we're doing here? No, I just I'm looking uh, to make sure personally. Yeah. I just want to make sure that we're. We understand we're crossing our T's and dotting our I's because this is going to set precedent, and I want to make sure that what. What it is that we do in this situation is what we're going to want to do in the future. So I would like to have an extra set of eyes on The majority of us are new and have not been through this before, so we want to make sure, as Pam said, that it's done correctly. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm not looking to invalidate it. No, no, I'm just, no. I'm just asking because it doesn't. It just seems uh, that I, I'd like I a, know. for me, I'd like a third party. This is just me speaking. Third party that is as intelligent as this young man is here yeah. about this stuff. This. Just like when you do a peer review, mm -hmm. yeah. same thing. For, that's like at least that's how I feel about this. Okay, I'd like his opinion because at the end of the day, we sign our names, so we make a vote. We're responsible, and if we've done something wrong and didn't take advantage of that counsel, mm -hmm. 
That's yeah. just yeah. So we're we're kind of like <clears throat> on the hook of you know making sure that sort of like the I guess chain of occupancy is intact, right? Because that's what you were saying, sort of defines this whole thing. Yeah, I think your questions and you have all the the facts are basically undisputed in front of us. I think your question for council is, did this lapse? before they occupy they the building. They agree that it, it has not lapsed. And again, I'm confident yeah. that this person will find in what we've presented like to you. They and can then, reference the cases you've mentioned if possible, you know? Yeah. They just want and to if, hear it from our side. Certainly if council, yeah. um, who I may or may not know, depending on which firm you use, wants to call me, I've already done a bunch of this research. I'd send case sites. <laughs> They'll make their own. I'm certainly not gonna help them read these just things. Do, just do diligence. But I already did the legwork on yeah. this, so happy to share. I mean, in general, our board is not looking to make it harder for anyone to no, go through the these permit process. Yeah, we gave you the process, permit. We gave you I the minor the modification. Board. We're willing to work with, you know, whatever it is that we need to do to make it happen. If there needs to be a, a waiver or something. Yeah, some I mean, point. I remember swapping yeah. parking spots for drive throughs and stuff and entertaining like other manufacturing trailers on the property. Like we wanted that to happen. Yeah, that's like that, that we, we were behind you. About that. And we appreciate that, that because yeah. we, um, I feel that we were treated very well by the planning board. Yes, we were. So, yeah, we're looking to continue that. Good. We just, yeah, we just, again, we just want to do business in town. That's, re that's really so do we, essentially, we want, we want you to do that and too. And we want to be in right. harmony with the rest of the town too. And that includes Joe. So we want to make sure that the building department is satisfied, the planning board's satisfied, and you guys are satisfied. But they right are, now, I, I we agree need to make sure that it's all I agree with you, but they're separate issues. They're yep. separate issues, but we want to make sure that what I'm we do doesn't affect that. I'm not asking for any of no. Joe's opinions to be looked at by council. I just want to look nope, at the timeline yeah. and make sure that we're still in compliance yep. and that the permit's valid. That's, That's it. Okay. That's all I'm looking to do. Thank you. Joe's world is Joe's world, and he can, you know, whatever he needs to do is not anything in our purview. Understood. Anything else we can answer before next week? I don't think so, but if anything comes up, I can have Dylan reach out. Get your contact info? Yeah. yeah. I can reach out to you. Forbid I ever have a business card with me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. If you have it, I'll send you an email. Thank you. Yeah. All set for tonight? All right, yeah. I think so. Good. Thank, thank you, you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you all you. very much for listening. And Thanks for your time. Look Absolutely. forward to being back here and talking to you next week about it. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thanks. Yeah, I think that's all for Zoom. What's my agenda? All right, um, jumping around. I know we have some folks from CMRPC here. Come on up. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi. Hello. They hey, kindly you spent the entire day with us, I believe. It, did. <laughs> it was so much fun. It really we was. in the field. Oh. <laughs> uh, so for those of you I haven't met yet, hello. I'm Sarah, this is my colleague Carrie. Hello. We're from the Central Massachusetts Regional Planning Commission, um, which I hope you're all familiar with. Yes. I know Pam is. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so Pam Maloney and Dylan came to us a few months ago. Um, thinking about this economic development plan, and we were able to fund it through district local technical assistance, which is basically the town's money to do fun little projects like this that we hope will kind of spiral into some initiative. Uh, so we're kicking that off today by going around town. We met a bunch of people in Millville, got a sense of um, the topic area, which is kind of basically Main Street, Central Street area that's been studied in the past by CMRPC and other firms uh, as an area of big interest for uh, hopefully some economic development in the future and, and kind of as a downtown-ish area for the town. Um, so our next steps are to continue talking to as many people in town as we can. So if you have anybody that you think would be interested in talking to us about you know, what direction they want to see Millville go in, how we can make more things happen, uh, our doors are 100% open for that. Uh, and then we're having an event on March 23rd. 
March 23rd, March 23rd, 10 to 12. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 10 numbers. to 12, open to anybody, anybody, anybody that wants to come. Uh, we're starting at the Senior Center and hoping to do kind of a little walk around the neighborhood. Um, we like to do walks just to, to get natural opinion, you know, get out in the field, see like what, what are we feeling, what do we want to preserve, what do we want to change, uh, and then go back to the senior center for a discussion. And that will guide uh, the plan that we're hoping to uh, finalize by June uh, that will set out some top strategies for, um, you know, how to get some more community building going uh, and what potentially we could do for regulations and, um, just from the staff side of the town to improve economic development. Very cool. Yes, this is very exciting. Um, we're thrilled to have you here. I think this is going to be a very fun project. Um, we'll have to make sure that we do our best to get this out there. I know you guys are dropping off your flyers. I was stopped by the library earlier today, and they had one. Hey! Uh, and the, the assistant yes, librarian was like telling me about it, and I was like, oh, wait, that's us. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think it's going to be great. We can all maybe reach out to local businesses in town and yes, see please. if we can get some, some help from the Board of Selectmen and Cable to get this out there. Thank you. Yeah. We know word of mouth is best for events like this where it's us strangers coming in. Um, mm -hmm. So the more we could get the word out, um, really make it a good use of time. Fantastic. If, uh, if more than three of you come, let me know though, because <laughs> it's board, so yeah, yeah. I, I'll make sure we make sure we don't um, run into any issues with all you guys coming. Is it possible to share it on social media? Oh yeah, yeah. On the yeah. Face? Well, we'll find we'll find some we ways find to them. share it on social media. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have a, a like an official Millville social media, but like a lot of the other groups do. Sure. You know, the library does. Okay. Cultural Council does. Okay. Please I'm do. excited. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm excited. I put it in my calendar. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll, we'll of have maps be. and snacks. Yeah. <laughs> maps and snacks. Maps and Perfect snacks. Family. Fantastic. Yeah. And we'll of course be coming back to the planning board before anything's finalized with the plan. Okay. For sure. Um, in case somebody wants to come that can't like walk, what, what do you mm -hmm. suggest? Uh, so we will have somebody waiting at the senior center for people who don't want to walk. Uh, it won't be awkward, but just like, hey, <laughs> we could talk here, we could start now, and then people will come back. Somebody could come, they could come, come skip the walk and then just come for the discussion yep. at, around. For sure. 11. Either way, we'll be starting at the senior center, so. Oh, yeah. um, and that, so it's 10 to 12, so I'm thinking the walk is like the first hour and the discussion is the second hour or so? Yep. All right. So as a board, if more than three of us show up, we have to. I think I have to post it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll post I, it I if plan I need going, to. So. Okay. Yeah, I plan to come. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, so I'll post, post it as a <laughs> post <laughs> it on the safe side. side. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll call it a meeting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Fantastic. Any more questions for us? Learned nice a lot. Soon. I learned a lot already today. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll Thank um. For the yeah. Time. While you guys are part of the economic development discussion, just on the um, thing, uh, Sarah Hecker, who does yeah. uh, all the grant writing, she. Um, put in a, an expression of interest for the um, the grants coming through one stop. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so, including 181 Main. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're looking to do some cleanup there or something. Start yep. start the momentum. I just want to mention that too. Actually, think of maybe taking a walk there tomorrow when it's supposed to be warm and it's supposed no, to be like 60. Yeah. And there's no oh. uh, foliage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We saw it today. Yeah, awesome. great. Cool. What did you guys think of your walk through town? We had a great day. Actually, we, we met so many nice people. Yeah. We learned so much about Millville, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have some ideas. I think it was a great day. Yeah, definitely jumping off points, for mm -hmm. sure. Awesome. Good. Well, thank you so much for all of this, and thanks for working with us on trying to get this grant, too. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting. Yeah. Oh, that's where I met you. On the DLTA Zoom. on that <laughs> physical development. Yeah, All right. You're going to be your face. <laughs> All, right. All set? Cool. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, and then lastly, yes. we want to talk about the town I've, meeting warrant. So I've been with them all day, so I haven't had a chance oh. to print anything no out. <laughs> <laughs> they showed up at 11. We've been out all day. so It was a nice day to be out. Yeah. So I just have to do put uh, final touches on, on what I have. And I can send it to you. You can all give me your comments. Sure. 
and that'd be fine. I use Is there a deadline that we need to be meeting? I think they set the deadline last week or something. Okay. I don't. I haven't gotten the formal email yet, so I think we're still. Well, we could vote on it next Monday, right? Yeah. 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 We could look on it next Monday. Yep. Okay. I'll have that it. work for everybody. Yeah. yeah um, if we had to do a, a special meeting on the fourth. Yeah, fourth. I, I could do that. Okay. We can, um, if there's time constraints um, for anybody, we could. Show It'll be quick, I'm sure. Try to, try to make it a quick one and not load up the agenda. Wasn't anyway. that the first Monday, anyways? Is that our next schedule? Um, sec we're second and fourth Monday. Oh, second, second, second and fourth. fourth. Yeah, yeah. It would have been the 11th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're good for I'll tonight. reach out to council and we'll go from there. I'll All reach right. out to Peter and then reach out to council. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. I think that probably makes the most sense just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Yeah. I know I don't want to scare them, but we're no, just, no, just no, making you sure you guys development and yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's yeah. just it's just that this is not straightforward. Yeah, it's not right. straightforward, and yeah. and well, but I I do feel bad. I, I do remember them coming to us and them saying, you know, what happens if we change a tenant and and whatnot, and we wanted to make sure that that we thought about all of those types of things in advance, but uh, we'll Joe's right, opinion, the we'll use it. changed and, yeah, you know. to be honest with you, and if they were here, I would say it as just as loud. We told them we weren't gonna make a decision tonight, so to yeah, kind of force us to do that, no. No. Nope. Right. We didn't even know about this last week. No. So. Any other updates on planning? That's it, that's all, all right. I have. Okay, if there's nothing else, then a motion to well, Oh, yeah. just right. Yeah, sorry. Just real quick. So we'll plan on three, four, three, four at yeah. six, and then six, we'll six. plan on three, eleven, and three, twenty-five. Right, continuing with continuing our the normal. Four. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And that doesn't coincide with the. Um, we'll find out. Select. I have to check to see what's because yeah, they changed running. those. They've yeah. been yeah. things if around. If necessary, yeah. we'll we'll go in the small room. Mm -hmm. We'll have a small meeting. We'll make it work. Yeah. Three twenty-five. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Well, if there's nothing on the agenda for 311, do we meet or do we? Because we we don't have to. We we'll we'll don't have up. to it unless we still have the warrant. Yeah, um, to yeah. Do right. so. But yeah. if we take care of it next week, correct. Oh, okay. then we can go to the 25th, skip we the 11th. Yeah. Okay. Just I'll put the there. options out in the email. You let me know unless something pops, and then yeah, we'll, yeah. Okay. If it's nothing on the agenda, then yeah, that's the 25th. Yeah. But that's going to be after this mm -hmm. walking tour. The walking so tour. So we'll see if. Yeah, you yeah. might have some thoughts. Yeah. Um, okay. There's some extra flyers here that they left with us. So if you want to take any and you know a good place in town that you want to um, hand it out to, we should probably and I'll send an email get one with of these to well. the folks that were here earlier today. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'll take an extra one too and I'll, we'll try to get it out on social media. Um, maybe we can ask them to send it to us digitally. Yeah, That'd be I will. Nice. I have it. Okay, perfect. All right, if there's nothing else, motion to close the meeting. I'll make a motion to close the meeting. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.